All right, so I'm just I'll clean this up, taped off the threads on the seat belts and on the emergency brake. And I'm only gonna do the lump down to about where the seat belts are with rust reformer. So I clean this off with mineral spirits. I don't mind that the brake line gets turned black, you know? And uh, this is rust reformer, so it's really just a primer to keep it from having a lot of surface rust. And my seat belts, I used to say the seat belt bolt holes plugged up with the bolts. I'm just going to go up to about here. Doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be covered by, you know, various carpets and fat mat or whatever. That's good for this side. <clears throat> Just make sure that there's enough on there to seep into the rust and <coughs> make sure that it does not rust anymore. I'm going up to about here. All right, I think that's good. So, that gets me, you know, I gotta wire brush the, <coughs> the back halves of these pans, put the rust reformer, and then I'm gonna spray some black gloss on them. I've got to um, do the undersides. So I did the undersides of the, I did the underside a little bit here, but um, that's why it's up on the stands, you can see. So, all right, little by little, I'm moving my way back. I'm gonna have to cut out all of these cables and uh, put in new cables for the emergency brake and for the heat. So that'll be interesting to feed that through. Now I'm waiting for my adapter for my uh, shift knob. Looking forward to that. And uh, that's it. One thing I noticed here, this uh, fender bolt on the uh, left front, somebody cut off the, um, the bolt so that's in there. So when I get this off, um, when I get off this uh, left heater channel and maybe I can feel in there, I'm either got to cut this out and weld in a new one, probably what I'll do, or maybe there's some way I can put a little notch in this and get the uh, cutoff bolt out of there so I can get the, the next one in. So it's hard to tell on some of these whether, you know, that's a little loose. You probably just hit that with one spot weld. You can see how it's like it's it's not straight anymore, so maybe I need to hit that with a hammer or something, but I don't know how that gets that way. You know, this one is perfectly straight, and this one is like diagonal, and uh, like it got hammered in there somehow. All right, well, starting on this emergency brake assembly, so I took it a little gear piece out and I took the front part out and I've just been you can see what I'm dealing with here I got a lot of rust and uh, really 
All I want it is to be flat, and then I'm gonna hit it with the rust reformer. I always do. So, at least it's a pretty simple piece to deal with. This is a little bit intricate. But I think this is gonna work great just with a, just making it flat with the wire brush, going over it with the rust reformer. First so clean it off with a little bit of mineral spirits, but um, overall. This piece doesn't need much. Try to avoid getting too much paint in the hinge and in the mechanism here. But overall, I think this is already pretty much ready to hit with the rust reformer. Little wire brushing here and the Bit of junk in there. I think just needs a little bit of a something inside the I'm just gonna rip a piece of this so that I can get on the inside of the roll this up here. Put this on the inside of this little tube. Piece. So I'm just going to go over this with the rag and we're going to go ahead and rust reform it. I just need to oh, I go through these rubber gloves like crazy. Okay, let's just wipe this one off and rust reform. So right now I've got the license plate and I've got this little cover for the rear transmission shifter. So I'm just gonna go over this one. And anything with rust, the primer is rust reformer for me.
All right, this looks pretty good. Let's hit it. Okay, I'm just gonna fold that in the inside. Just it dries off pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna hit this with the rust reformer here. Try not to get it on that license plate that is yellow. And I'm just gonna flip it. Fine. <coughs> Said I probably will. <coughs> you know, take a look at how that is, and maybe I don't know if that's gonna get uh, if it's gonna become lotus white, silver white, stay black. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, CU eighty two, and then that thing they're all drying. So um, I went ahead and put rust reformer up the back diagonal of this on here. I'm thinking of putting just a tiny bit of a white into the VIN so that that's visible. Just rub it across and then sand off the, uh, the top and see if I can make that work. And then I did uh, rust reformer there. So I need to do the main part of the pans where the seats go uh, on both sides and uh, the underside, I've really only done the very front. Okay, on the floor pan, I uh, wire brushed and did a little sanding and uh, got this all vacuumed and cleaned up. And so I'm gonna start this. Uh, I'm at the end of this can of a rust reformer, but this is what's going on at rust reformer everywhere. It's a floor pan and the floor pans rust out. It is a well-known fact. Now, whether rust reformer prevents it from rusting out as quickly, that is an unknown fact. I don't know. Seems like it would do better than, you know, some things. Just regular primer, for example, because this supposedly is supposed to have some chemicals in it that fend off rust. So this one this is basically done this, uh, this can, so I'm going to go get another one. New can. Gotta like that. So, I'll just put this up here, and we're going to turn it black. So. There was already like a little bit of surface rust here on this back section. 
So I wire brush that. Like this, you see the texture there? I just make sure that I put a good amount of this paint on it so that it's basically like treating it. I have some carousel, carousel or whatever that stuff is and I could have treated it with that but I'm just going to assume that the rust reformer paint kind of does the same thing. Maybe it doesn't go as deep as if you put a full treatment of the Hello, see you on it. So this is my seat rails. I don't know. You know I assume that whatever's on there is going to scrape off eventually because of the seat sliding up and back. But I'm going to get it covered anyway. Thing I wasn't sure of it because these come with like some form of primer on it, but they they say you're supposed to sand off the primer and then prime and paint it yourself. But the question is, is like if I don't get every ounce of that original primer off, you know how bad is that primer? It seems like if I go over it with this, does it kind of lock it in place? I don't know. I'm just going to assume that this is going to be a sufficient primer. It's like partially sanded and wired brushed off the original one. Then I just rust reform the living crap out of it. Including here where it was textured. I'm getting all kinds of rust reformer. Along the sides and all the crevices. All right, I think that middle left side looks good as far as rust reformer goes. I don't know if I can really get it in here, but You know, really just trying to stave off the next rusting out of the floor pans by putting an absolute ton of rust reformer on there. Okay, that looks good. Next step is to do the back right. <coughs> That's where the battery goes. And I uh, wire brush that out and do the same. Okay, well, I have wire brushed and sanded a little bit this uh, other half. So I just have my mineral spirits go over this thing. <sighs> All right, it's just a pain in the ass because honestly, I wish that the floor pans just came already painted like really thickly, you know, thick, thick coat of rust resistant paint because it's like then they make you re remove what they put on for rust resistance and then you have to uh, put on you know whatever you're gonna do primer sealer or whatever and I find that it really makes it 
it's already a ton of work to get these floor pans in there. Why should I have to do anything but... All right, that is cleaned off. As good as I'm gonna do anyway. And now it's time for some rust reformer. Make it look like the rest of it. This stuff here, which looks good. And that one, okay. All right, next. Here's where I stand. This, as far as the top goes, it's just the back right left to do. I'll just set this up on the tire. And... Time to reform. This feels like a slightly different process than regular painting because, in a way, the, the liquid that is this rust reformer, I don't mind there being a little too much of it so that it kind of settles onto the any kind of bumps, rusty bumps or anything, and then kind of conforms to that and prevents it from rusting. Yeah, a drip of my own sweat on there. Ah. Well, sweat off. Battery tray, we want it to rust under the battery. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Take a look. So is the back right, back right uh, section under the seats, that looks pretty good. And uh, 
Again, we got the front, got the front left with the pedal assembly, which all looks pretty good. And I just did the back. Again, there's just that little bit of textured area that had some surface rust that I really doused it with rust reformer. And uh, okay, we're ready to move on to the next thing.